Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my April budget book. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using this super cute kit that I received from Anita Budgets. So be sure to go and check her shop out. I will leave uh, the information in the description box. But... I did do an unboxing of this, so I won't go through the entire thing again, but I did get this kit from Anita and it is for the seven by nine Erin Condren planner. And as you can see, I now have a seven by nine Erin Condren planner. So let's go ahead and get this put on. And I, if you, uh oh, put that on quickly. If you watch my channel, then you know that I absolutely love stickers and love planners. Is any of this necessary? Absolutely not. Like, I think I've said that before, but just in case there's some new people here, none of this is necessary. You can literally do your budget with a notebook, a pen, or a pencil, and that is that. You do not need any of these extra things again i just like them stickers make me happy and so i choose to use them but again it is 100 percent not necessary so it did come with these numbers so i am going to go ahead and put these down and i will speed this up just so you don't have to watch me put all these numbers down okay so i have the numbers down i think i'm going to go ahead and just put this up here as you can see i did put the number 30 at the top because i always have bills due at the end of the month so i know that i am going to need that space so I'm going to go ahead and put that at the top because yeah, that little half a box is not going to be sufficient. Cause I think I have like three or four, two, well, at least two or three bills that are usually due on the last day of the month. So cover that there, put that there, super cute. And then I did get, where'd I put that little, Oh no, I lost it. Oh, I'll find it eventually. It's a super cute little like die cut sticker though that I was going to put on here. When I find it, I'll stick it on. Okay, so anyway, the monthly is set up and I will go through and add in all of the like bills and everything. And then I'll show you that once we get to the end. Oh, and this is March. I kind of did like a test page using some stickers from Fern Creek. So I will go ahead and add the stickers in like i said um at the end of this but i just wanted to kind of show you what march look like so i get paid then on i have no idea what my paydays are hmm let me see let me check my old book april i get paid on the 7th and the 21st so I will use these stickers from Sweet Sticker Bliss and we'll put one on the seventh and one on the 21st. I love those stickers. I think they're so pretty. And then, okay, so then the rest of this I will fill in and then do a flip through at the end when I'm done. All right, and then after I did this page, I have my like goals so i will put that on this page i don't have any stickers for that though so i'm gonna have to like just make that up so i will come back and do this page and then sorry you guys this is new so i'm trying to figure out what i did all right so then on this page no i did my monthly expenses does she have one of those All right, so I'm just gonna put budget. For me, 
I do this a little bit different than the stickers are designed, but I like them, so we're going to use it. So we will put budget here. Oh, that's not very good. My stomach is really growling, so I apologize if you guys can hear it. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> I'm like, did I eat today? I did. All right, so we'll put the budget here. And then I have income. Mm, I don't put that. Let's put... I do income. All right. I'm gonna have to turn my ring light on. I still don't see how y'all can see with this daylight. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, so income, and then I write date, source, okay, and then four, seven, I think it was 24th. Oh, no, 21st. All right, and then I always put 1900 as my payroll, no matter what. All right, and then underneath that, I put my expenses. So, uh... It's kind of a combination of variable expenses and fixed expenses. So I'm going to just leave this because I, th I this is how I categorize it and this works best for me. So I'm going to just leave it as it is. And again, I will go ahead and fill this out and then just kind of come back through. And then on this page, what did I put on this page? So this is the rest of my expenses. And then on the next page, I did my check number one and then all the bills that I have to pay check number one then on this page I put check number two and then on This one, I do my sinking funds. So sinking funds here, and then I think I did my debt. Tracker, yes. Then we'll do debt tracker. There. And I actually do like this one, so we will put this here. This one I will actually use. Right, and then let me see how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll leave one more spot. Right, and then I put any additional spending 
down here in the bottom. Uh, and then for, <laughs> for this, for April, I'm going to attempt to figure out how to do a weekly check in and I will just be going over like my I'm gonna start I'm gonna just start with my wallet <laughs> and just kind of keep track of like what I have left what I'm spending whatever because I'm still trying to figure out like if I need to add additional money one two three four if I need to add additional money to my folder, I mean to my envelopes. So one, two, three, four. So I know that if I am constantly out of money every week, then I may need to, or like if I don't even make it till the end of the week with the money that I have in my envelope, then I may need to increase that amount a bit. Um, you know what? I should add one more to go Ooh. I should, I'm gonna add one more line to incorporate incorporate the money that I have in my actual like separate checking account so yeah we will I'm gonna start this with the first check in April one two three four five yes okay one two three four five so it goes here and then how many weeks are in April? Well, we'll just do one, two, three, four weeks because then the next week I will be getting the May pay. So we'll just do four. Oh no, Brandy, you're moving too fast. Oh, shucks. Um, I'm going to have to do some sticker surgery. So let's just put a little bit of glue. <laughs> totally rip that completely off. All right. A little bit of glue here. some more glue to that all right and then one two three four five one two three four five and then a little bit here all right so there is that. And then I am also going to attempt <laughs> to do a spending tracker for April. I know I've tried it before and I, I failed, but I'm going to try again for April. And then this time it is literally just going to be, oops, wrong one. It is just going to be for, um, things that I do, that I use my regular debit card for that was like unbudgeted expenses or things that like I purchased that I hadn't planned for. Um, so I will do that on this one and we'll use this super cute washi on the bottom because I'm hoping that I won't have this many expenses. March was definitely a wild month just because I had two trips planned. It was my birthday. Like, it was a lot going on in March. The money was just flying all over the place. But that is not going to be <laughs> how my months are normally. So... Oops.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write in everything that I can write in, and then I'll come back with a final flip through and let you guys see how it all looks once it's completed. Okay, I am finished. It took a while because I had a bunch of other things to distract me, but I'm done. So here is the monthly layout. I did find that die cut sticker I was telling you guys about. So cute. Love having it just down there in the corner. Then I did go ahead and add in my goals and important dates for the month. And then this little quote from Proverbs is kind of like my savings motivation right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this box yet. I haven't really decided, so I'm it's still blank. We'll see. If I come up with something for March, then I will do that same thing in April. And then, of course, I have my budget here, and the budget continues to this page. Then I do put in my paycheck one, paycheck two. I couldn't complete the totals because there's a couple numbers that I don't know yet. Um, and like for my hair appointments, I haven't made it for April yet. So I don't know where that money is going to go. And then, and these are kind of like some extra expenses. And I just thought about it. I need to go in and add uh like some of these things in really the only one that would really be a thing is amanda's birthday so i will add that As a matter of fact let me just do that now uh, amanda's b day so we're gonna erase this line and I am going to put $150 uh, no yes um, that I do have budgeted for that so we'll put that on there and then for spring break I don't really need anything oh and then the alumni weekend that's also this weekend but I should have money in envelopes already that I can use so I'm not going to worry about that all right, so anyway, check one, check two. Then I have my sinking funds, which again, I can't really fill this out yet until I have all the numbers, so I know what I have left. Bleh, left My debt tracker, I can't fill out until I know what my beginning balances are, so I have to complete March 1st. The weekly check-ins, it's not April yet. Spending tracker, again, not April yet, and I do have this one page left, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. So, but that is it, you guys. Like, I am super excited with how this turned out. Again, I have mostly completed March, but I will have to finish this as the month progresses. It's still middle of March right now when I'm filming this, even though it'll probably be closer to April when you guys see it. But I just wanted to get it done because I like kind of having an idea of where things go beforehand, just so that I can be a little better prepared. So, here is March, and again, here is this page set up. I do have my monthly expenses completed, my paychecks, my cash envelopes, my debt trackers, and the extra savings challenges that I did in March. And that is it for March. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you for every second that you're here with me. Like you guys are the best for real. I love reading all the comments and hopefully I've been responding to them all. I don't think I've missed any, but if I did, I'm sorry. What do they say? Charge it to my head, not to my heart. Um, I hope you guys are safe and that you're well. And go watch the next video that YouTube recommends and I'll catch you next time.